All right, um, I am very excited to be here with you all. My name is Itai Baleli. I use he, him pronouns. I am the director of training at LGBTQ Plus Victory Institute. I also know that Be Real has not yet gone off today, so just in case it does in the middle of this, feel free to tag me afterwards. This is your uh, dividends for pride for all of us. Um, but I am here to tell you all that I'm not here to give you information or advice. Rather, I'm here to plant a seed with you. And that seed is, starting with a question. Why are you here? Why are you sitting in these chairs? Think to yourself, is there a specific issue that you care about? Are you really passionate about reproductive rights? Or are you really passionate about gun reform? Are you um, someone who cares about managing relationships or creating solutions? I'm assuming that at some point, all of you have landed your butts in these seats and in this congressional internship because you care about your community and you care about effectuating change. And that's why I'm here, to plant a not so subliminal message with you, to tell you that it's your time to run for office. And I'm gonna let that sink in for a little bit because I know that we've all watched Veep and I know that we've all watched Parks and Rec. And I know that sometimes media misguides our idea of what it means to be a politician. So if you're thinking to yourself, I can't be a politician, I can't be an elected official, I'm still graduating college, or if you're telling yourself, I already have my stump speech prepared, I'm ready to go, Let's talk about it. Let's talk about what it actually means to be an elected official. Um, at the end of the day, we work in this advocacy space. We work with a lot of folks that are on the ground, people that are in office jobs, and everybody is trying to effectuate change in their communities. But the person who signs the bill, the person who ends up um, passing a budget is the person in the position of power. So I want you all to think, after this internship, and you all are in a great position to understand what exactly is required of elected officials. How do you work with constituents? How do you um, mitigate and solve conflicts? How do you actually make things happen? This internship is setting you up to be to, to get yourself to that next level. So if you're thinking about change, think about being an elected official. Most campaigns in this country don't cost more than five figures. Most campaigns in this country don't even have a staff member. Most campaigns in this country only have to talk to a few hundred folks in order to get elected. So thinking about what a politician actually is, politician is someone who sits on a school board and who passes multi-million dollar budgets that affect the children in the community as far as programming and curriculum. Being a politician is somebody who sits on a city council and represents your city on the state level or thinking about how you pass different ordinances. Being a politician is somebody who sits on a commission, whether that is a public works commission or a planning and um, rezoning commission. You could be a politician. You could be the person who is in these positions of power actually effectuating change. And I say all this because you don't have to be a lawyer. You don't have to be a poli-sci major. You don't even have to graduate from college in a lot of places to run for office. Um, I want to ask you a question and then I'll give you the answer, but how many open or how many elected positions do you think exist in the country? Think about that number. Is it 10,000? Is it 100,000? The answer is 540,000 positions. And in 2023 alone, open are 39,000 school board positions. I'm saying all this because if you've ever run an extracurricular activity, if you've ever volunteered for something, the reality is that a lot of elected positions don't require you to quit your full-time job to do them. You don't have to fully dedicate all of your business hours to your elected, elected official position to make change. So think about how you can add those things to what you're doing. And obviously, we are LGBTQ plus Victory Institute. We're an organization that values representation. Representation is power. And we need America to look like the folks that live in it. Um, what we do is we provide resources and training for anyone who wants to run for office so that you could do it successfully. We're the only organization in the country that does so for LGBTQ plus folks because being queer on the trail is a unique challenge. But there are other organizations that do it for free. They do it virtually. They just give you PDFs of resources. So take advantage of them. Think about how you can take all of this experience through the summer and actually put it into action. Our organization has a motto that we don't teach to learn, we teach for action. So think about what you're doing here. Think about all of the advice that you've gathered, um, whether it's for reference letters or networking, or how to move up the ranks, getting your next job, and how do you use that 
for action, for action for your community. And these are some folks that we have that are LGBTQ plus elected officials that were the first of something. They broke some record. And our country has a lot of ceilings that need to be broken. So can you be the first in your city, the first in your county, the first in your state to do something? And I'll leave you with this. Um, Aside from all the resources, and I really encourage you to speak to me or speak to other organizations that have these resources, um, we have a slogan that we use a lot at the Victory Institute, which is, don't get mad, get elected. So I want you to think about how you really channel that action, and feel free to come talk to me. I hope to see you all on a ballot someday. Thank you very much.